Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Ross here, and this is Brexit Episode 9, I believe. And, um, well, the British Empire has stretched from really all the way across the globe, and now we are actually touching it into the Americas. We have already had a little presence in the, you know, Caribbean islands and here in South America, but we are going to try to expand now into Canada and into America, which the bastards declared war against us. So, we have the war against the Americas right now. Um, we can invite people to faction, people keep on saying uh, in the comments, like, oh, hey, but yeah, it's the Persian Empire, which I don't want, and yeah, and eventually other things probably will want to join as well, but we don't care about that. Now, we have no national focus right now, but a lot of people have also pointed out that I need to change my conscription laws, so I need to, if I have a national focus, it takes a, an entire point away. So instead of earning like 0.65 to 0.7 a day, I'm going to earn a 1.7 so we can change the conscription's laws. It's going to really severely affect our um, capacity to build things and also the training time for units, but at least it will, you know, kind of help for what we have right now. Now, the one thing I would like to do is actually, um, we're going to start another army over here. Uh, was it three of these guys go back to that army? Uh, where are we at now? Oh, we're at 30. Uh, 30. Uh, okay, four go back. And then, yeah, you two go back. Okay, so this army, 24 guys. Say hello to your new commander, Mountaineer, Trickster, Ranger, Hillfighter, Ranger, Trickster, Engineer, Hillfighter, and Hill... Okay, gosh, man, they're both really good. Uh, I'm going to take this guy. What we're going to do with him is we're going to invade the Philippines. So we're going to set up a uh, naval invasion plan from uh, here to... We're going to say here, and then we're going to sign, we're going to hit enter, we're going to sign all, whoops, all 12, okay, hold on, we have, uh, I guess we have uh, issues with uh, naval invasions right now, because we have na a whole bunch of naval invasions over here that are planned, so I guess we need to wait for these to uh, kick off. We have 18 divisions here, and that actually reminds me then is, what's our um, in research look like for this? Um, okay, we need to get the next one. Next one's 79 days. So our next technology will have to be that. Canada is called Panama, and the United States is called the Brazil into this battle. That's nice and interesting. Since that's the problem with that, let's, um, this is part of Army 2. Okay, so we're going to make this a, just an entirely new army. Um, actually, hold on. First, we'll delete this order. Then we'll make this a new army. Uh... Then we'll sign a commander for this guy. Oh shit, this is just him down here by himself. Oh, oh well. Uh, can supply consumption? Yeah, definitely supply consumption. Yeah, man. I thought, hmm, okay, whatever. Okay, let's give this guy a uh, an order. Rio, uh, Rio de Janeiro? I think I'm pronouncing that pretty, pretty much right. Um, we're gonna wait for this uh, prep to get up though. Um, Hold on, did they call Columbia in, though? I don't know if I saw Columbia. Okay, as long as Columbia is not called in, we should be relatively good. Because then we can only f we can fight on one front, we could take Brazil out, and then we can work up or away. Um, let's get two of these guys, though. Actually, no, more than two. Three, four. Um, shit. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these guys. Um... We're actually going to take this into a separate army, and we're going to push them up here. Okay, Hades now our enemy. Great. Just like what I would like to see. Um, what I would like to do is fallback line. There we go. Assign all eight there. Right? Come on. You're moving, right? Okay, that's whatever. Let's move over there so we can defend those islands. Okay, so we got that going. Uh, we got these naval invasions going. Do we have sea power here? Okay, we got sea power. Well, what are we waiting on then? Um, not ready. Not ready. 20, 20 out of 38 days. Okay. 
Okay, the one thing, though, is that this 300-man army now is done over here. We can't just leave him sitting over here, right? Because, yeah, that would be unwise. So what we're going to do is... Um, actually, we're going to change the sensitivity of my mouse real quick. And then we're going to make a fallback line uh, right about here. Get those guys over here. And what do we got over here? Okay, we got 24 paratroopers. Do we have any transport planes? Okay, we need to delete these. We're deleting these because they're um, on the, like quite literally the opposite side of the world, and it's just it's easier to uh, delete if you believe it or not. So we're just going to delete all these, so we can quickly transfer them across the world, and we'll put them in America. So you can see my manpower is going up now. It's up thirty-seven thousand. So what we're going to do is not unpause the game. And we're going to uh, deploy these somewhere else. If that makes sense. We're just going to delete all of them. So we shouldn't see any planes mar markers now. If we go up here... Okay, we have air of 12,000 now. So I don't know where the extra 12,000 is. What we could do is go to, like, um, strategic air map and then hit assign all. Okay, so there's something here. Six air wings. So where are they coming from? I uh, don't want to hit unpause. It's one main thing about this idea. So you don't want to hit unpause. Where the fuck are they coming from? Are they coming from carriers? Hmm. Oh, nope, found it. Well, that's only part of it. Okay, I'm just, I must be missing it, but whatever. Let's, uh, before we waste this, because we got 97,000 here, um, we can, do we have an airport up here? Of course not. Why would we have an airport up here? Fucking Christ. Do we, we don't have an air, yep, no airport down there. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. Okay, where's the biggest airport here? 1,400, uh, 1,200, thousand. 2,000. Okay. Let's get to deploying aircraft. We'll deploy uh, 200 in time. Because that's what I like. Uh, okay, we got lots of close air supports. That's good. Let's uh, deploy some fighters f first, though. Uh, carrier fighter 2s, fighter 2s. Don't we have fighter 3s up yet? I thought we have fighter 3s. I'm pretty sure we have fighter threes. I, oh, I know we're producing them. Where are they? I'm just blind. Fighter twos. Oh, there we go. Fighter threes. I was blind. Let's get these suckers uh, out. Okay. Uh, we can do what 100 and then do 100 of the fighter twos that we have and eventually they'll be all upgraded okay so that airport's full let's find another airport that is relatively big yeah 1600 it's big enough okay so let's do uh let's keep on doing fighters uh we need to get air supremacy over in america and this is going to be a lot easier to do if we just have a shit ton of fighters. Uh, close air support will come in second. Um, oops, that is not what I wanted. Let's delete that. And, okay, 200. Okay, we'll do the last 400 of this airport as um, close air support. So cast twos, right? Okay, close air support twos. We'll add two wings of that. Okay, let's go add, we'll add some more. We still got plenty of manpower here. And now we're also deploying what kind of units we want. I, I predominantly just want close air support and fighters. Um, we're gonna have to get bombers so we can nuke stuff, but we don't have nukes yet, so. Yeah, not gonna have that. Well, we'll we can go with 
Oh yeah, the fighter number twos, the Spitfire. Uh, okay, so that's that airport. Next one. Okay, so now we've hit our manpower reach for our Air Force. So that's that. So the Air Force is solved. Uh, we're just still waiting on to get enough political power for to change the conscription laws. Um, okay, our invasion has started. Our naval invasion has started. Um, okay, that's not good. We got troops stuck in the open. Got troops. Where the fuck's our navy? <laughs> Well, I think we're gonna lose these units, to be quite honest. Insufficient resources, I think we're just kind of stuck with insufficient resources right now. Oh, well. What else do we need? Shit ton of oil. I think someone said, I don't forget which Let's Play it is. I get to start getting confused, but someone said take over uh, Iraq. I think, well, yeah, we have Iraq. Um, I guess that was a communist one, but we could take over the new Persian Empire to get the uh, oil from there. I don't think they would join America, but you never know. I can invite them to the faction, too. Not gonna do that. No. Okay, those guys are doing what they need to do. We'll leave them alone for right, for right now. Okay, we have enough ships here, I think, to land our troops here. The, the United States uh, fleet is engaged by a fleet of 93. I think that's good for us, right? Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, we're going to move our armies down to secure. So the invasion has started here. Um, yes. Oh, what's this? Look at this battle results, dudes. Oh, man. Two destroyers and a uh, heavy cruiser lost for us. Five battleships, 13 destroyers, seven heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, four submarines, 16 fighters, 28 close air support, and 11 naval bombers. That's a great win. That's a great win for the uh, the British Empire. Oh, yes. Love it. Uh, okay, let's, let's select three to go over here. Okay, so once this, we get a... Oh, we got another one over here. Three more destroyers, a heavy cruiser. Nice. That's, that's massive right there. That's some great shit. Uh, Peru wants to send volunteers. Nope. Uh, we just need to get... We need to push in here. We just need to push these guys out. We need to push these guys in. And we're going to select one of these guys. Go this way. Yes. We're going to push this. Once we get another like, beach hold on this side of the island. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. On this side. We're going to actually... Um, we're going to start transferring... Ferrying troops over. Uh, also, the one thing we're going to do is um, increase the naval capacity of the port. Because that genius of a guy was like, hey, you can build ports when you land. Well, we, we don't know, can not only build uh, ports when we land, but also we can increase them. So we're going to increase those two. We're going to send the, uh, them skyrocketing to the front uh, of our production line. Hey, naval research slot. Uh, we need to get... Oh, man, we're... Okay. I can't believe how early we are right now. It's 1943. I feel like it's so much later. We can't even get modern tanks yet. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're pushing forward here. We're pushing forward. Okay, I think it's about the uh, time to establish a front here. So let's... We're going to send one at a time kind of thing. Like that. Let's get these guys over here. Let's get these guys over here. Okay, once these guys... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to establish the front line. Here we go. And there we go. So let's uh, select these guys. We're gonna establish a front line here. So this is uh, 18 whole divisions, which obviously is not good. Um, so let's get... We're gonna get 20... Yeah, all 21 here. Okay, so that's... Oh, shit, is this... Oh, this guy is a freaking... Ah, oh, damn it. What's this guy's? Okay, so this is Army 1. Where's Army 1? So this is Army 1. Okay, what we're going to do actually for right now... Uh... Shit. 
Let's get this guy just a new general for right now. Let's get some of these troops from up here down. Because these guys are just getting bogged down anyways. So let's get these guys down. We'll just take all. So army three. 55 troops. Montreal's the target. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh oh, what do we got here? Okay, we lost a battleship. We, we lost a battleship. But we took out six destroyers and a heavy cruiser. I mean, for the amount of time that we've had here. Oh, but right here. Look, destroyer, cruisers, cruisers. Yes. Very good indeed. All right, we're pushing into Brazil. Just a tad. Just a tad. Is it, are armies back over here yet? Nope. They're coming. They're coming. They have a long way to go. Okay, since those naval invasion plans are done, let's see. Can we get um, can we get 12 guys on this mission, please? Okay, great. Uh, so that's... Oh, shit. Not really what I wanted. Okay, hold on. How can we do this? Uh, can we get, get all 24 guys on this mission? Oh, okay, we can. And then 12 on this mission. Boom. There we go. There's our invasion of the Philippines. Okay, we have enough for conscription laws, which people keep on saying, Hey, let's change your conscription laws. Okay, so all adult serve goes up to 20% recruitable po population. And it doesn't, It's look at this, factory output negative 30%, negative 30% construction speed, and training speed is 30%. Whew. That's just, ugh. But we need it. There we go, 5.79 mil. Ha! <laughs> we need it, but we, it's it's there now. <laughs> hey, let's get some of these uh, let's get some of these guys kicking out. Let's uh, get a new carrier class out, right? Uh, we need to start researching the other uh, carriers as well. So we're gonna just build carriers. Um, King uh, George uh, the fifth battleship number two. Yep, the largest capital. Yeah, we'll build some of those. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. Um, okay, so that's battleship. Okay, let's get. Okay, we only have battle cruisers number two. Okay, so we don't. Oh, I for, keep on forgetting though. We're like we are very much um, early in the war right now still. Okay, so two lines of destroyers. Let's get uh, a line of light cruisers. Um, let's get two lines of heavy cruisers. Uh, let's get another one. Oh man, look at how many stuff that uh, we can build. Uh, let's. What else? Uh, okay, we'll get the better uh, battle cruiser. Uh, we'll get two lines of battle cruisers as well. Um, let's add another light cruiser as well. Let's add another uh, carrier as well, right? Because I mean, like, why not? Ah um, oh, shit, we messed that up. There we go. We're deploying them all in the same area. Um, hey, let's get another battleship. Now, we're not gonna have enough, as you can see, we're red for oil, but it just reduces the speed. I mean, we still get it, it's not like it just stalls out, which I really thought for the longest time that it just stalled out. It doesn't, it stays there. Let's get uh, another destroyer for more screening. Uh, let's build another line, just in case we get and catch her in more point, points. There we go. That's done. Okay, so now we can get national focus. Uh, let's get convoy escort. That's good. Um, justification, Russian Empire. Yeah, please do declare war on me, buddy. I would love to go to war with you. Well, we got troops moving in. Hopefully not getting sunk either. But hopefully we were taking some pressure off here so these guys can get, you know, um, actual supplies and stuff and push out. You see, they're already pushing out now. They're getting they're getting more supplies. So we're taking pressure, re relieving that pressure from up top, sending it down here. Oh, we got another little invasion plan down here. Say hello to our little friends. Come on. Capture it. Capture it. Okay, let's start this guy's plan. I know it's a little risky right now, but let's get it started. Okay, we got Quebec now. That's great. I'm gonna push this guy forward and try to increase this area. Um, Southern India? Okay, well, if we have invasion in India, we're just kind of, for no better term, okay, the invasion of Philippines has also started. Uh, okay. 
Once we get the Philippines out of here, I mean, we have a little small islands. I guess we can go island hopping. It's just island hopping is quite annoying. Where the hell is he going? I have signed everybody over there. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's alleviate some more pain. Uh, okay, this guy needs to get on. Is he aggressive? He needs to get on aggressive if he's not. Um, let's push this way. Okay. We're going to try to push these troops to combine territories, if that makes sense. Okay, he's trying to move those troops in there. That could be really dangerous for us. Um... Okay, this guy just stops moving. I don't like that. Let's select three, go this way. Okay, we have that done. Let's go to agility, yes. We need to combine these two fronts desperately. Ah, the sea, I did not want that. He was retreating. He was retreating. I wanted to stop that. We need to spread open this front as quickly and as possible. Why? Please, no. Just, can you all go this way? Thank you. <laughs> it's like, no, can you please just not? Okay, we got 40, 100, 800 planes here. Obviously, this is not good. Um, but, we need to just kind of solve some of this problem. So, let's select some of these guys. Send them over here. Send some of these guys over here. Just trying to bounce. I mean, we have way too many airplanes in this airport. Our mission effectiveness is going to be absolutely crap. Not to mention we need to turn off all this crap. This no retreat, which I cannot stand. Hey, if someone can make a freaking mod on Steam to turn this off from no retreat to make the standard normal operations, I would love you forever. I would love you forever. I mean, that one right there would seriously, that would make my day. Um, did, hold on, did I actually? Okay, no. So I'm making sure I didn't put them on the Eastern Seaboard. And yeah. Oh, well, hold on. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Okay, well, we have planes overhead now. We can get some air domination. Uh, we'll eventually get more airports. Uh, for the meantime, since we don't have more airports, let's increase this airport. Uh, airspace. Okay. And well, you know what? Let's just build another set there as well. Because we'll need it. Okay, so this lovely guy will get a new, new, new general. Okay, now he is going to go. Do we have? Don't we have an island, right, right here? Yep. Uh, he is going to go and garrison this entire place. Right. Yeah, all 24 of you guys. Oh, don't. Seriously, what the? What are you doing? Quite seriously, why are you going all the way around here? Oh. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can make a follow through order now. Okay, so the follow through order has worked. So we're going to make him go over here so he can then do a naval invasion from over there. Um. But that's the best we can do for there. I, I really do hate how they freaking try to... Um, I don't even know how to exp explain it. They try to go around the entire world. <laughs> is how, how I explain it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, okay, what do we got going up here? Hey, we're closing in. Closing in. 
Let's see here. Can we uh, pinch and maneuver this, please? Trap these guys in here would be great. Come on. And there we go. Look at that. Nice. 16, 20, 24 different units. That's what we're talking about. That's what we would like to see. See if we can overrun these guys. Nope. It was worth a try. Saw it too late. But the, the more that we expand our areas, the better it will be as well. Uh, what's this airport? Hey, it holds 2,000! Holy crap! Let's uh, spread out some of our fighters to get better uh, better coverage. So, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, or, ten, or 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There you go. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Boom. Spread out some of this so that will uh, balance out. Oh, we got another airport level too, because it was at 400. That's good. Make these uh, mission effective just a tad bit more. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, we're doing we're doing well. We're doing well with the air war. That's good. And Brazil not going so well. We need to make another front on Brazil. Uh, we're pushing through the Amazon right now, and we have this army moving around. Oh shit! How's the Philippines doing? Oh. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> hey buddy with the freaking, yeah, build. Build naval bases, please. Shit. Oh man. Oh, wait, is your organization that low you can't move here? Fuck. How about this guy? Why aren't you moving? Where, where's his army? We lack sufficient... What? Philippine Sea? Shit, where's the navies? Navies. Thank you. Do, go do your job. Please land there. <laughs> help. <laughs> help, help, help. Go, go, go. Thank you. Oh, seriously? Ah, I forgot about the Philippines. I forgot about our naval invasion plans for the Philippines. Fuck my life. We need to capture some ports. We're trying to expand the front lines now. Come on, get over here. What the? Is your, organ your organization's that low? Oh, whoa, there's just some troops there out of nowhere. Okay, let's get this. Let's see if we can get this guy surrounded here. Oh shit! Oh no! No! <laughs> no, guys, don't die! <laughs> no! Oh, fucking Christ! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh. Did not pay attention to my naval invasion plans. And now I've desperately paid for it. Desperately paid for it. Oh, man. What's this? 18 November is when it's going to be done. British Wires wants to send us troops. Yes, we will take those damn troops. Because, well, we're going to need them now. Because um, we just lost a shit ton. Uh, let's attach them into this army. God damn. God damn. That just sucks. I totally forgot about that. That really blows. And as soon as I looked away, I looked up north and then they got overrun. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, landing craft is a research. That's always great. At least my next naval invasion plan won't, maybe won't go so crappy. Hey, it's 1943. Why am I not doing... Uh, uh, research for the over here. Uh, national focus, what do we got going on? Uh, I mean, we get land wars. Um, I don't know, we piss off countries that don't even exist anymore. We can go with war with Italy. Uh, Italy exists not in a faction, goddammit. 
That doesn't work. Um, we can get secure Iran and bargain. And like, this is all like crap now. Like, I whatever. Whatever. Come on, let's just expand, please. The more that we expand, 100 killer groups, awesome. Uh, hey, more research. Oh, hold on, what we got here? Battleship organization, capital ship armor, uh, convoy sailing. Um, okay, let's get this one. My theory right here is the more that we expand, the more area that we can push, uh, get pushed back into, if that makes sense. Um, so that when we can hopefully build enough supplies. If that makes sense. Let's, um, where's all these other... Okay, I don't think they can land here yet, but... Uh... It's 18 November. I mean, it's it's a decent away away away. <laughs> to be quite honest. Oh, someone! Hey, British Raj actually made it the same kind of naval invasion plan I did over there. Hey, at least it'll take some pressure off of us. Can we collapse like in here? Okay, we need to not let this piece of territory go, because that's where our port's being built. Okay, we we cannot get out. We have a, a somewhat beachhead, but we need to build supplies. And that's what we're going to work on for next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A um, little long, but we'll, uh, of course, uh, edit it down. Uh, we have units here. Lovely units here. Um, and we will take that. And... Land troops there. Ready to rock and roll. 101 days for, or 101 convoys, 80 days. And we'll assign all 24 to that mission. Okay. It's going to be a risky mission, but I mean, you know, without risk, uh, there is no reward. And hopefully uh, in 10 more days, we can get a port. Mm, more ports. Uh, if we can get a port, we can get supplies. If we get supplies, we can also land troops. If we can land troops, yeah, then we, then we win. Um, as always, if you'd like this, please leave a comment below. I greatly appreciate them, and uh, as evidenced by this, I am paying attention to what you guys say. As always, though, I'm The Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.